John Fitch here. We got an edition of Fitch Pilled for you guys. And this is a, a large pill. I think it's a big pill. And I think a lot of people need to understand this pill. Uh, this could have easily have been a learn to fight video. This could have been a learn to fight video. Because this is going to have to do with violence and guns. Okay? Guns aren't magic. I'm going to say it again. Guns are not magic. Just because you own a gun doesn't prevent bad things from happening to you. Just because you purchased a firearm doesn't mean you might not get into a fight. Just because you are concealed carrying your pistol, your gun, your AK-47, your rocket launcher, whatever snazzy thing you think is the most protective piece of equipment, if you do not train to access those weapons and use those weapons, all you are doing is giving your attacker, your opponent, a weapon. That's it. Just because you're carrying a weapon does not mean it's yours. It's not yours. It's not yours until you can access it, draw it, and use it skillfully. Is that getting through to you at all? It's not magic. You don't put it in your pocket. It's not some magical um, spell potion that you got in your Harry Potter book that you wear in your pocket and then all of a sudden, oh, all the bad guys go away. No one will ever grapple me. I'll never need to know how to grapple because I have my special magic pocket gun boomer. No, I got a video. I'm going to show you. This is Busted Ear Brian on Instagram. Check him out. I worked with him for some PJJ, Police Jiu-Jitsu, C4C. Look into that stuff also. It's, it's phenomenal. They're doing great things. We need more and more police officers taking these classes because 99.9999999999999% of all all the instances of police brutality are not police brutality. It is not these guys out there I'm going to I'm just going to mess this guy up and hurt him bad. It's improper training. It's improper training or lack of training, lack of knowledge. When you have officers who have no idea how to grapple with somebody they result to extreme violence a lot of times, and that looks really bad. And cities lose millions of dollars a year because of this. So write to your local people and insist that the police officers get the proper training they need. They need it. And some of these guys, some of these police officers also have this mentality. Well, I don't, I don't need to do that. I got my gun. I'll create some space and I'll pull my gun and I'll shoot him. No, you're not. Guns are magic. If you are not trained to access the weapon and use it effectively, I'll talk about the 20 foot rule right now. I've talked about it in my Learn to Fight series, but we'll talk about it here in Fitch Build. The 20 foot rule. If you are 20 feet away from somebody, okay, 20 feet away from somebody, you have a gun in your holster. It's racked, loaded, ready to go. It's got one in the chamber, on your hip, no safety. All you gotta do is pull it out, aim, and shoot. That's it, that's all you're doing, all right? If you can do that, right? Boom, 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 there you go. That's the drill. You put somebody 20 feet in front of you. They're out there, 20 feet yard, 20, 20 yards away. Give them a stick, give them a stick. A, a, th a thick stick. You can use the rule of thumb. You don't want to hurt them too bad. Get a stick like that. Get a little bamboo stick. Something that stings. Put him 20, far, 20 feet out in front of you. You got your gun. It's ready to go. Somebody blow a whistle. See what happens. See if he can get to you and whack you with that stick before you can pull that gun and shoot one round. One round. Right, that's generally a decently trained person can do that. One round, and guess what? One round ain't gonna kill you. Guns aren't magic. Guns aren't magic. It's not a laser. 
It's not a laser gun. You don't go pew pew and he goes pew and turns into dust. It doesn't happen. I have a learn to fight video I showed where a guy went in to, to rob a money changing place. The security guard, right? The guy turns, goes, shoots, starts shooting at the security guard. The security guard quickly, boom, draws, fires one shot, hits the guy in the neck. Hits the guy in the neck. It takes that guy 10, 12 seconds to bleed out and die. Guess what happens in that 10 and 12 seconds? He fires five or six rounds into the security guard. Guns aren't magic. Guns aren't magic. They're not magic. Get it out of your head. I want to show you this little thing because uh, it's a dual drill. These are drills these guys do. They use a real guns with sim rounds. Okay, so the, they shoot paint. So uh, I would not feel safe doing this with Alec Baldwin because he wouldn't check. He wouldn't check his equipment and he'll probably put a real bullet in there and shoot somebody. I'm not going to do that. So, but these guys are very safe. They check all their equipment, making sure everything's fine. They got sim rounds. It's, uh, it's a real gun. So the heft, the weight, everything feels the same. It's um, an aw semi-automatic gun. So it has the slide on it. All right. And you'll see the point in the struggle where the hands are on the slide. You can't fire the gun when your hands are on the slide guns aren't magic i've got a gun just because i have them holding the gun in my hand it's unprotected no you need to know how to grapple you have to know how to grapple you have to you have to know how to access your weapon and keep control of it all right and this is a situation right we got two guys in close quarters it's not 20 feet you didn't get 20 feet to prepare you didn't know oh oh that guy's a bad guy over there 20 feet away I better start getting my gun ready. I better, I better, I better get it in there and charge and, and get the bullet going and everything set. All right, now we're ready to go. That doesn't, that's not how things happen in real life. In real life, some guy walks around the corner and says, oh, this is an easy target. Boom, gotcha. He's on you. Now what? Now what are you going to do? Oh, you, you can't do that. You can't, you can't hit me. You can't throw me down. I have a gun. I have a gun. Nope. Nope. Let's look at this. I want to show you this. All right. This is an awesome struggle. Black sweatshirt. Here is the guy with the gun. Okay. It's concealed. So you're not going to, you're not going to see uh, what's going on. I think, well, actually, I can't remember if it's blue shirt or black shirt. Who has it? But um, we'll, we'll see. One guy has the gun as they, they fight for it. The other guy takes it. The other guy takes it and then the original guy had to take it back. So the original guy had the gun, the other guy took it from him. And then now he had to fight and take it back. So we're gonna look at this, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see uh, some of this in action. So you get a little bit of an idea of what's going on, what I'm talking about here. And here we go. The struggle goes. Mm. All right. Here's us here's fighting, they're starting, the guy's on the ground. The guy in the gray shirt saw the gun and is like, oh, man, I, I'm going to take it. I'm going to get that gun away. The guy in the black shirt's like, uh-oh, I'm going to have to do something. Now I've got my hand on it. Now I've got hands on the gun. His hand is on the slide. With his hand on the slide, you can't fire. That slide has to move the fire. What do you know? Now he took the gun away from him. Bang, 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 bang. Watching it one more time. Okay, how did we get there? That's what happened. They started there, right? They started. He's got to get this guy. He's got to arrest this guy. He's got to take this guy down. They're in a fight. Uh oh. He sees a guy. He's guy's got a concealed weapon on him. He goes to fight. He's taking it. He gets the gun away. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fighting against that grip. Fighting against that grip. He can't fire because his hands on the slide. It's not magic. Whoop, took the gun away. He takes the gun away. Now he's looking to clear. Bop, bop, bop. So you can see, just from right there, there's more to firearm possession than just carrying it around. You, you need to know 
how to grapple. You have to know how to grapple. Whether it's a knife, a gun, whatever, you have to know how to grapple. Oh, run away, run away, run away. Mm, Maybe, but if he already has a hold of you, if you fell down, if you're already engaged in, in some type of grappling, then what? Hold on, time out, time out. I wanna run away. I wanna run away, please, please, I wanna run away. Nope, it's too late. You're in the mix. We're gonna watch another one. Let's check this one out. I think it's good too. Anything where you can see live action guys fighting. Like these guys are like gouging eyes, poking, poking faces. They're trying pressure points. They're twisting fingers, okay? They're fighting dirty. They're fighting dirty. They have safety equipment on, but these are police officers who are trying to make things as realistic as possible. Any of you guys out there who are like, oh, well, I would I would just plug his nose and he can't breathe. Uh, I would poke him in the eye. I'd boop in the eye. I'd pull him by the ear. Then I'd win. Get out of your stupid stuff out of here, okay? It's stupid. It's it's just as stupid as everybody talking about how whatever martial arts were so awesome before UFC happened, and we got to see what happened when we got to see guys. Oh, oh, wow! I guess I guess that uh, Cook Swung Duel isn't so hot anymore. Hmm. Maybe we should change things, change our thinking. All right. So we're gonna look at this. We're gonna check it out and see some more. Let's go. And we're off. They're already hands on the gun, already fighting for the gun, right? He, he's got the gun out, but he can't access the gun to get to a better spot, okay? And now the guy on top position is in a much better position because he did get on top. This isn't over. Right, the, the guy still has the gun. They they're still trying to pass the hand and cast the guns around. But there's a lot of work going on there. It's not easy. It's not. Oh, I have a gun. I'm magic. I have magic powers. You're gonna have to do some work. All right, guys. You're gonna have to do some work. You gotta do the work. You gotta put in the work. There's no shortcuts. There's no magic pills. There's no magic bullet. There's no magic laser gun. That's gonna get it done. It's not happening. It's not happening, okay? It's really not. You're going to have to train. You're going to have to learn how to grapple. Even if you think, oh, well, I have, I got a gun. I got a gun. I can do that. I can, I can gun this. So now we are going to use a uh, example of a knife. This guy brings a knife into the fight. He's got a weapon on him. He carries, he carries a knife. But like I said before, if you, do not train how to maintain and keep your knife. You've just given your opponent a weapon. And this is a great, <laughs> this, is, this is a great uh, example of that, right? You bring, you bring it to the party. Don't get mad when somebody else wants to use it. Here we go right here. You can see, right? That was a little quick thing. He's got an orange thing in his belt, all right? That's a mimic knife. That's a, a, a hard rubber knife that they can use in training, right? He had it in a place where he could access it and use it. But guess what? So did his opponent. <laughs> so did his opponent. His opponent was able to disarm the guy. He was able to pull his own weapon. He was able to pull the guy's weapon and give him some diced liver. Liver King is going to be feasting tonight. You bring a weapon to the party, you better be ready. You better be ready to keep it. You better be ready to use it. <laughs> okay? You got to be ready to, to... I mean, just that is is crazy to me. That people think that... As long as I carry my weapon, as long as I have it with me, I'm fine. My advice to most of you, and this is a pill that you might not like to hear, is you're better off with mace. You're probably better off with mace, uh, like a gel string, like a silly string type mace, pepper spray. I think that is probably your better weapon to use. You're less likely to get stabbed or uh, shot. I think the uh, little pepper spray canisters is probably harder 
to take from you, easier to uh, control, easier to keep in your hand when you know you're in a bad place, you're in a bad environment, you can keep it on your keychain, something like that. It's in your pocket. It's quick. It's quick. It's like, okay, this is okay. I've got it. And then psh, got your ass. If you carry a knife, it can take time. Pull it out. Okay. The shiv works that Brian here works with, they do have some uh, really cool knives that are uh, nicely concealable and you can access them from either angle, from either hand. That's, that, that's pretty nice because you don't want to be in a wrong spot and be like, oh, I can't reach my knife, oh, I'm in trouble. So there, there's some good tools out there you can get and use. But the most important thing, guys, is train. Get some training. Get some training. You need to learn self-defense laws in your city and state also as far as uh, weapons go. How, how big can your, your knife be? How long can the blade be? Does it have to be a, a tool or is it a fixed blade? And then with the guns, there's all kinds of laws and things everywhere for you. It's nice to see that more than 50% of the United States is constitutional carry, which means you have a constitutional God-given right to carry your gun. But if you don't train how to use it. If you don't train to keep your gun, if you don't train to use it, if you don't train to access it and fire it, you're dead. You gave a weapon to a bad person who wanted to hurt you already. That's the fact. That's the pill. That's the big hard pill, guys. And I'm going to get a bunch of uh, douche douches trying to argue that fact. You lose. You lose. I'm telling you right now. You can yell in the wall, into the abyss, all you want to. But if you do not know how to grapple, if you do not know how to hand fight, if you can't clinch, you can't get two-on-ones, you can't get wrist control, elbow control, head control, control the hips. If you can't do those things from your feet, you're, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. And then you get to the ground. And then you get to the ground stuff. How, how do you access your knife laying on your back? What if you've got a, a person who's 100 pounds heavier on you? Are you, are, you sh are you sure you can still access that knife? Are you sure you can still access the gun? And on top of that, after you've accessed your weapon, can you use it? Do you knew, know how to use it close quarters? Have you trained? How, how many people out there, how many of you guys have done tactical gun type training? with no ear pros, no eye pros, just so that you can not all the time because you don't, you know, you want safety. You don't want to catch a, an ejected shell in the face or eye or whatever, which should happen. You don't want to force yourself to go deaf after years and years of training. But at some times, you're going to have to do it real. You're going to have to, you're going to have to put yourself in situations, hear that gunshot. You're going to have to hear it. I'm not sure about knife training, you might want to look into some Eskrima guys. They might have some really cool stuff, really cool tricks about getting good with accessing the weapons, using the weapons, disarming the weapons, and stabbing things and, and ways to practice. Because you, you, you have to practice, guys. You have to practice. All of life is but a stage, and we are all merely actors, okay? And if you're not rehearsing your part, you're going to suck. You're going to suck. And you're going to get stabbed and jabbed and shot. All right? It's dangerous out there. Don't take this pill too lightly. Swallow. Swallow down. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned a lot. As I'm really tired of hearing, I'll just pull my AKA out. <laughs> oh, yeah? Where were you carrying it? Where were you carrying your AKA? That you could so easily pull it out and use it on somebody who was standing three feet away from you. Hmm, you're a genius. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm feeling kind of revved up today, so it's a good day. All right, guys, take it easy. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, spread the message, spread the word, spread the pills. I'll check you all later. <laughs>